Would you like me to bring your baby closer to the window? Nurse. That's enough. I heard about your little girl. I'm very sorry. Where the hell do you get off even talking to me? You started this. This is all because of you. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't understand. You were the one who blackmailed me to begin with. To seduce Ryan because you wanted your precious Greenlee all to yourself. Well, look where it's led us. My poor baby. Go away. Leave me alone. I wouldn't wish this pain on anyone. Just stop. All you've ever cared about is yourself. I know exactly how you feel, Allison. I lost a little girl, too. I did once before when she was still in the womb. But they wouldn't let me. I wasn't allowed. So my little girl, she... She died on the operating table. And there wasn't a damn thing I could do about it. So, ever since that day, I feel like the best part of me disappeared. Whenever I see a little girl with a father, I, I hear that voice in my head asking why. Why did this have to happen? People are going to tell you they know how terrible you must feel. That's a bunch of nonsense. They can't know. How could they? But I do, Madison. That's why I came today. To tell you that someone is here that knows your pain. It's never going to go away, is it? No. But you will learn to live with it. And for what it's worth, I am sorry for pushing you to Ryan. If I had known that it would turn out like this... You would have still pushed me to go ahead and do it anyway. We both know that. Maybe you're right. When you've lost so many times, you begin to start believing that you need to take. You're right. I am a selfish man. I don't always consider the consequences until they affect me personally. But I am sorry for what you're going through. Just leave her alone, please, Hayward. I'm just expressing my sympathies, Ryan. Save it for somebody gullible enough to believe you. Well, someday soon, you're going to want to believe me. David, what do you want? Is that any way to talk to an old friend? Leave me alone. I know how you feel about me, Greenlee. But I also know, deep down, you've always understood that I am the one person you could always count on. And that will never change. I'm not here to complicate things. I'm here to help. Well, you can't, so thanks, but goodbye. Stop beating yourself up. You don't know what I'm doing or what I'm thinking. Actually, I do. And I know Ryan well enough to bet that he's not taking this very well. You keeping his baby's paternity secret from him all these months? I'm guessing his high and mighty moral code is badly bruised. He wasn't happy about it. Obviously. And he's taking it out on you, am I right? No, that's where you're wrong. Really? You really need to leave. If you ever need someone who really understands you, someone you could be your real self with, I'm here for you, Greenlee. And I always will be. Why are you doing this? Because despite everything that's happened between us, we forged something that could never be broken. Something that's greater than any marriage or love affair or blood oath. Ever since I pulled you out of that icy river, we have been and always will be connected on a life and death plane. Goodbye, David. You did nothing wrong, Greenlee. Everybody needs to keep secrets sometimes. And believe me, I still have plenty. <laughs> <laughs>